Welcome to another edition of Your Daily Dose of Art. Today I want to tell you about an unusual painting that we have in the collection by Thomas Aikens. It features his good friend, George Barker, but also this hand that was cut apart from the original. George Barker was a professor and renowned physicist at the University of Pennsylvania and a very good friend of Aikens. Aikens did a lot of work at the university, served on committees, and even assisted in academic research. This painting was a favorite of Aikens, and he kept it with him um, his entire life. The painting is um, created in late 19th century, and it was very popular uh, then for American and European artists to use a very popular product called bitumen. It was a coal product that was used to uh, prepare the canvas for painting. Um, it was uh, especially um, liked by artists because it gave the, um, uh, the canvas a dark surface on which to paint, which really helped draw out highlights. Unfortunately, um, as time went on, the bitumen actually started to disintegrate the canvas. And so what started out as a three-quarter length portrait of uh, George Barker uh, including his hand um, on the right, was a cut apart to preserve it and save it for posterity. Um, it's interesting that we can look at this hand fragment and actually learn something about Aiken's uh, thinkings, uh, thinking and consideration um, about painting and representing uh, a personality or an identity. Aikens regarded uh, hands as having a unique identity. Quote, a hand takes a long time to paint as much as a head. A man's hand looks no more like another than it does a head. Aikens was a very astute observer of life and um, captured his best friend, George Barker, in what we might call a double portrait. That's your daily dose of art today. Thank you. See you next time.